hi welcome to this video so in this video i'll be talking about how to get investors as a forex trader a lot of people ask me questions about how do i get my first investor every single time i share my story how i made money in the forex market how i was able to get a lot of investors to invest in my trading career my trading journey very early a lot of people ask me questions about how did i make that happen how was i able to get a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars in investments into my trading journey quite early so in this video i'll be telling you in no um uncertain terms how i made that happen and how you can also make that for yourselves so for starters i'm eight years experience in trading next year 2024 will be my eight years of experience in trading i've been trading quite a while and as at the third fourth year of my trading journey when i began to get very good at trading i began to get a lot of investors um, reaching out to me and asking me to help them to make some money in the forex market so i'll be telling you exactly how i was able to do that and how you can also get that done for yourself in your trading journey so there are three very simple steps that if you take these steps i can assure you that a lot of investors will be all around you looking to give you money to trade for them so number one is a no-brainer of course you have to be really good at trading now a lot of people miss out on investors opportunities because they are really very bad at trading if you actually face fact you know that really really they are really bad at trading and it's not hard to know if you're really good at trading very simple fund a demo account and trade it for six months without blowing it you find out that that's very very hard it's a herculean tax for um, many forex traders out there who are actually looking out for investors so if you can actually make money trading what exactly do you need an investor for so that's one you really need to be very good at trading you need to have have a strategy a high win rate strategy that you've back tested for many years and you've been able to test the viability of the strategy i can be able to tell what the drawdown is and what the worst drawdown can possibly be um, on worst market conditions and how to actually handle that that's one thing with strategies a lot of people just know how to handle strategies and how to use strategies but they are very bad at handling drawdowns which is something you can it is inevitable as a forex trader it's inevitable as a fund manager you need to um, know what the drawdown the worst possible drawdown that you can have as a forex trader and how to manage that so most people for instance if you try to have a demo account like i've already mentioned you have a demo account to trade for six months uh, most times once they have a drawdown they abandon the account and start looking for open another demo account try to start all over again in order to keep a very clean record but every good investor knows that there are times in the market that there uh, there will probably be drawdowns and they expect to see those drawdowns when you begin to show them the results or when you begin to i mean to trade for them so no no reasonable investor actually thinks that it's just a you know just an upward curve all the way they know and they know they actually expect that at some point there'll probably be some losses so you don't need to be tricky on trying to build a demo account only um try to be lucky on it try to have only a demo account that maybe there's no losses of any so that's um you're shooting yourself in the leg so it's it's a very that's the first step you need to really be good at trading it's a no-brainer you really need to be good at trading before you look out for investors uh even or even go for a prop firm i see a lot of people um come to my dm they'll be like um help me get a prop firm blah 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 but at the end of the day you find out that they are really bad traders they're just trying to take a look on themselves and try to maybe this is key okay come please help me get a, a, a funded account help me pass help me and uh, please then you can pass it on to mr and i'm like man you really can't trade if you're at if you're in somebody's dm asking for money that means you really cannot trade because by the time i'm done with this video you see the reason why as a good forex trader you should not for any reason be broke okay so that's number one first step you really need to be very very good at trading now number two step is very vital which is build a track record now this is something a lot of people actually miss out this is something that they skip they try to trade uh, maybe after one month two months of going for a forex trading all of a sudden they just jump out start looking out for investors but the truth is uh, it doesn't happen that way okay every forex investor every angel investor every big investor wants to see your track record I want to see what you have done 
you know over the years you want to see okay this is what this guy is able to do this is the worst possible um outcome this is the best possible outcome and they can do their numbers and they can okay say give you hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars and one million dollars and say okay let's do business and um, but unfortunately a lot of people don't have track record and let me let me simply let me tell you how to do that very fast very simple like i already advised you in step one get a demo account even if you don't need and and, and i need to say this quickly you don't need big money you don't need big money to build a track record you can start with as, as little as hundred dollars you can start with as little as fifty dollars all you need to do is to have an account that has been traded for quite a while so it can just be fifty dollars and you're able to grow it to fifty dollars to let's say eighty or ninety dollars in six months or even one year or you can be able to do hundred dollar grow it to hundred and eighty dollar in one year that's eighty percent that's a lot of money but because we are uh, a lot of forex traders are quite um they are more interested in flipping accounts they are not interested in really growing but at some point your trading journey you should be interested in scale you should be interested in being able to manage a billion dollars two billion dollars if given i mean you can't be flipping two billion dollars you can't be flipping ten billion dollars that means every every forex trader out there that you see that has a mindset of flipping account just having you want to flip it to 200 100 dollars to two thousand dollars you just know that they are gamblers who just get locked in the forex market market but if you want to play the long-term game i mean um 50 a year is a very very juicy return imagine you have a billion dollars and you do 50 50 um 50 in a year that's over 500 million dollars so if you think that way percentages begin to make more sense than profits to you so when you're looking at your trading account you're not just looking at how much am i making but what is the percentage i'm actually making so being a track record once you have a particular account size whatever the size is 100 200 and you've built it to traded it for a number of months three months six months i've had six months by my, by my by my own experience six months is enough to convince any client at all so once you trade an account six months you've not blown it you've made some profit on it you put it on my fx book or whatever platform that you can publicly share a link or an investor I, I i personally don't advise investors password because by experience i know a lot of investors who want to go check look at the strategy try to find reasons why the strategy will fail at some point but you know the strategy you know the um back end of strategy know how it works and you can you have more confidence in the strategy than any investor might likely have so given an investor's password for me i used to do that before when i started the journey but i stopped it i just put it on my fx but go see it there and uh, whatever i see there is legit so you don't have to come ask me a lot of questions right so that's what i advise people to do so once you have an account you've traded for quite a while put it on my fx book and use the link to look out for investors now finally this is the third step that would help you to get investors wherever from i mean from all over the world wherever okay and that is very simple brand yourself branding is um something that works across board in any business in any sector in any industry branding always works you can't go bad with good branding you can't go wrong with a good branding so you need to really brand yourselves i see a lot of people trying to come to you know creep into people's um dms into my dms trying to say okay like i already mentioned for me an account or give me money to trade and if you're asking me for money that means you're really bad at trading because you can't tell me that all through your life or to your trading a journey you've not been able to save up to hundred dollars if you knew that you can trade a hundred dollars and make two hundred dollars i mean if it means selling your shoes to make that hundred dollar you would do it if you knew and you were so sure that if i give you a hundred dollars you can flip the hundred dollars to 250 dollars i mean you can't tell me that you can't sell your your smartphone or your whatever the, anything you have there's something that you can sell to make a hundred dollar if you were so sure of your strategy i mean you wouldn't be on my dm you would have found something found a way to actually make that money the fact that you're begging for the many money means that you're not so sure that i can do this okay because for instance if i if i was so sure so confident that if i have a thousand dollars today um i can flip it to a hundred thousand dollars i mean I'm, i can't i can sell this suit i'm wearing i can sell anything right because i was so sure that this is, i mean i can take a bet on that but the truth is a lot of people on people's dm asking for money to trade you really don't know how to trade okay so you need to really get good at your branding and uh, once you're good at trading first thing you need to do is to brand yourself i mean whatever needs to whatever you need to do to get yourself up to the point that somebody will look at you and be like okay if i give this guy hundred dollars hundred thousand dollars he will not run away with this money 
money so um first of all of course you need to do a lot of things of yourself buy good clothes buy good shoes buy good watches if you have enough money buy a car um you know look good okay look presentable because i can't be giving you a hundred thousand dollars i can't be taking that much um, you know risk on you if i'm not sure that you can really do uh but if i look at you and i can't see the money showing i mean somewhere in your life i mean i, I probably will not be able to take that risk okay so branding is everything and let me give you a very tip a very amazing tip that will help you um don't brand yourself as a don't don't go all in first on like personal branding that was one of the mistakes i did first but i think uh, i've over the years i've learned that it's more investors are more interested in doing business with you when they see that you are a company or uh, more than when you are just a single person out there with your name maybe you are frank or whoever whatever your name is coming as frank fx or whatever um they are they find it more easy to trust you when they see that this person is he owns a corporation or owns a company or you know you have some, some sort of branding that makes a lot of sense to them uh, it makes it easy for them to look at you and be like okay this guy if i give him guy a hundred thousand dollars or if i phone a hundred thousand dollars he will not gamble on it because a lot of investors are not actually investing in your trading per se they are investing in your personality so you want to see that this person is not somebody just because he has seen a hundred thousand and because he just wants to come out of poverty he wants to end the you know end the long-term generation of poverty in a generation he will just go and gamble on the account they want to see that you're quite comfortable you have enough for yourself you are you are not under any pressure to make any form of money you're not trying to impress anybody they want to see that this person I mean, on a worst case scenario, my capital is still preserved and I don't have to go looking, you know, looking for him with, you know, police, SSS, or DSS and all of that, right? So um, that's the third thing that will actually help you. Um, so let's go over it again. Let me give you a very quick recap. Number one, get good at trading. That's the first step. You need to really get good at trading. Um, don't fake it. Really, really get good. Don't try to cut corners. Um, think long term, right? Think long term. Think, long, think like somebody that wants to trade for uh, um, uh, a hedge fund someday. Think like somebody that wants to trade for an investment bank someday. So um, really get good at trading. And number two, have a track record, okay? Have an account that you've traded for a very long time. Don't withdraw from account. Don't um, try to, um, don't withdraw from there. Just deposit the $100 and see this $100 as your investment because it's really an investment. Your results in trading is an investment in your trading journey. So as much as possible, fund a small account or even a demo account still works and keep it for six months. Don't, don't, stop, don't don't start over the account or try to reset the account when you have a drawdown or something like that just keep the account maintain it for six months one year um, for your marketing it will help you a lot in the future and finally you really need to do your branding your branding needs to be excellent you need to look like somebody who can be giving a million dollars you need to look like somebody who can receive 10 million 50 million dollars and um, really do something worthwhile with it with your time as a trader so those are the three steps i hope Hope that this actually helps you and if it has in any way i'd love you to subscribe to this channel um click this um thumbs up button if you learned anything from this video and if you think that there are some other tips that will actually help um, other people out there probably any tip that you think that is worthwhile to share with the community to help people to know how to get more investors into their trading journey um i'd love you to um comment down to the comment section let's learn from you let's learn from each other this is a community that we're building together so i'd love you to be a part and contribute to the community so it's like come your way again i'm fx daddy good to see you i'm good to talk with you today so subscribe to the channel let's go guys click the subscribe button catch you some other time